talking about theory. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it is now 7 a.m. in Korea and I just spent my first night here. Uh, this is my quarantine facility. I really did not explain too much last night because I arrived at 5 p.m. in Korea yesterday and immigration services like paperwork quarantine stuff it all took like two hours after that i was waiting for my ride i was supposed to go to the international student like staff and my name was supposed to be in their like roster so that i can they can assign me a ride but it wasn't in there so i was basically just waiting it was like two hours of just like waiting and then I finally just went up to the staff again and I was like, hey, like, I've been waiting for a really long time. So then they were able to like call the staff for me and realize that I was in the roster, but for some reason I wasn't in their, in their roster. What happened is that they just immediately just signed up for a ride for me and I was able to go right then and there. How long did that take? When did I get home? I arrived in Korea at 5 p.m., right? So I arrived at the hotel basically at like 10.45-ish. So it took like almost six hours just for me to get back. <sighs> yeah, it was pretty hectic. Um, but now that I'm here, at least I'm here. Um, so this week I am quarantining for seven days and basically this quarantine facility has three meals a day and they're supposed to deliver all the meals right in front of my door and I'm just gonna show you guys um, all my meals for this week we have greetings over Kansas so we're very pleasant today however we are looking for a new front so I actually also prepared some tea we'll see how this goes so I actually realized I don't really eat a lot for breakfast anyway so I think I might just eat like the apple, this, maybe even just half of this, and maybe this orange juice. I was now feeling a little cravy for something to put in my stomach and I'm gonna try this thing now it's the com potato matcha it's a drink so I just boiled up some water and I'm gonna try it now from drinking that hot drink from breakfast. My lunch just came in the mail. My lunch just came in front of my door. I'm so busy. Wow. The central part of the nation with a couple of high pressure sex cells behind it. Ignore my messy bed in the back. For lunch, they give me... I just noticed this, but do you see it? A single chicken nugget looking thing. I'm just confused because I don't know why I like just put one in. I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's see what this is. It's kind of cold. Yeah, it's kind of cold, but it smells like similar to miso soup and a pickle pie for a snack. This looks like tangsu, but it doesn't have the tangsu sauce. But overall, I think this meal looks really good. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna finish everything. Just the usual utensils. A 
cleaning cloth for your hands after you eat. There's actually a lot of stuff in here, wait. Oh, this is tea. I think this might be puricha. Our Koreans usually drink it as water at restaurants. Coffee. And this is salt. This is, looks like creamer for the coffee. So for overall, I'm really feeling meal. Let's try it. My singular chicken nugget. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just think that's so funny. Mmm, the tangsuk sauce is at the bottom, that's why I didn't see it. Good rice. I always like me good rice. They have these balls of tteokbokki on the as a side dish. I just think that's really cute. It's pretty good. I think the only bad thing about this meal, because I picked this meal from the door, like as soon as they rang the doorbell on my door, and everything was pretty cold. I think that's my only comment on it. So guys, I just finished going to take my first PCR test in Korea and oh my god Dude, it's so much harder to get a PCR test in Korea because there's way like less facilities I think and there's a lot more people trying to get tested So like there's a lot of foreigners um, who just arrived like me um, trying to get their PCR test because you need to take it within like the first 24 hours of when you arrive and when we got there and we got our ticket number um, we were 200 people behind. My taxi driver was such a homie. So I uh, rode the taxi with like two other people. He found three more tickets that were earlier than the ones we actually got. So we like skipped like 40 people. I don't know how he got those tickets. Yeah, so we got to wait less, but I mean, we were still like 180 people or 160 people behind. So we waited out in the cold for like more than an hour. Also, dude, like the PCR test in Korea, they do it for you, right? But then they like shove it super deep. So I thought the ones in the US were already bad because they already like try to go pretty deep and then they like hold there for like 10 seconds on each nostril. In Korea, the lady does it for you and she shoves it to the back of your throat. I swear, I still feel it in the back of my throat right now. <laughs> like I was crying like after and it hurt. But I mean, it was really quick. I think that's the only good thing about it is that it, she was in and then out. So. another morning with me i'm just gonna wash up a little bit and work out and then probably take a shower and try to start my day productive My water is boiling and here's my breakfast for day three. There's this, it's like mixed cranberries and nuts. A lot better than yesterday's breakfast. This is milk, mini strawberry Oreo, strawberry jam, a tangerine, and a mozzarella stick. A bunch of bread. This is like actually a lot of food for breakfast. 
And we also have like another drink called Mucha. It's so good. You have to actually try it. My water is ready, so now I'm gonna pour it in. To be honest, I'm still full from breakfast, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat a lot of my lunch today. But it looks pretty good if you kind of look closely. Like, there's a lot of rice compared to like the protein. But let's taste test this thing. So, like I said in my previous reviews of these meals, is that the only problem with this is that it's cold. Like even the soup, it's like supposed to be hot. I can't even open this. I really wish they had a microwave in here so that like it's not so cold. But to be honest, they're probably making all of these meals in the morning so that like in mass production because there's a lot of students staying at this hotel. Like just yesterday, I remember the staff while they're trying to arrange rides for us to get our PCR tests. The staff told us that there was 240 students like he was trying to arrange just for that one day so it's kind of crazy how many students they have I'm not really complaining everything's really edible it's kind of good they have some quail eggs here odang or fish cake kimchi and a coleslaw it's really good fried rice a little salad like a sausage dish broccoli my katsu just kind of mayo-ish sauce and my curry right here kind of excited for this one there's also like katsu in here dude actually it looks kind of bomb tastes like a very like typical curry it's actually pretty good i'm gonna try the katsu i have no idea what meat this is milk Apple, choco pie, strawberry jam, peach tea, cracker, misukaru, which is another drink, and bread. It's like six loaves in here. In my Today's lunch, katsu with seaweed, scrambled eggs, oh, dumplings, cabbage, and pickles. As always, we have the soup on the side, some plum juice, and they always give an extra water. You already know, instant coffee and tea, the utensils. All right, I look like a mess. I'm gonna take a shower after I eat. But low key, I kind of want to like try losing weight during this week because I know a lot of people like they expect you to gain weight during quarantine because I'm not moving because I've been sending these photos of my meals to my family just to update them how I'm doing they saw my meals and they're like bro you're gonna get fat they give you hella food but I don't finish everything because I know if I like try to finish everything I'm like overeating and that's how you gain weight so i'm just trying to eat until i'm satisfied i gain come to korea just to gain weight and like to be uncomfortable with my body mm. yeah because yesterday's katsu it honestly tasted like fish let's try the dumpling mm. it has this like sweet spicy flavoring pretty good
that's actually very deep. Every time you think, what a beautiful sunset, you're not watching it anymore. You're watching the words. And so much of us, we just watch words. That's all our life is, just words. It's divorced from real life. We don't feel, we don't see, we don't hear. Day four dinner has just arrived. It is bibimbap with kamja tigin, the cloudy. Okay, you can't see that. It's like a cloudy um, tofu soup. Unfortunately, there's like no meat. Usually, bibimbap has meat and mix it. I just have like the Olympics on my TV on right now, and I'm watching like Euphoria out of my laptop because I'm so bored. Like it is day four. I still have three more days to go and it's very hard to like try to be productive when you're quarantining. I don't miss those days when we're like in some serious quarantine days. Back in March 2020 when COVID first started going out. But TBH, like I didn't really come here um, with super tight friends. Like when I was taking my PCR test and I was riding with other people in my car. Both of them came with friends. One of them's rooming with their friend from the same college. Kind of made me feel like I have no friends, but that's not true. I don't know why I'm so scared because like I was kind of the one who initiated conversations with both of them. I asked for their Kakao talk ID. I don't know why. Maybe just because like as of now, I don't have a go-to friend group where I can just talk to them about my problems. Back in California, I do have that. And this meal is good. <laughs> classes is actually at 9 a.m. and it is 8 17 a.m. right now let me try logging in to my student account guys i'm actually pretty nervous i'm about to um, register for classes in 10 minutes but here's my breakfast for today two muffins banana another hot cocoa packet of this potato matcha drink orange juice pie and mango pudding Lunch for day five. Another mango pudding, soup, another bottle of water, ketchup, strawberry jam. And we have a noodle dish because we have noodles, bread, sausages, a salad, and pickle. Mm. It has a kick to it. Very garlicky. I like it a lot. I probably might finish this one. There's also fried rice, like two scraps. I'm sorry to say scraps, but like it looks like two scraps of um, katsu pieces. It's like that one chicken nugget in one of the other meals. I don't know what this, what this meat is. It looks like kind of like a sweet tangsu, mini salad, and some canned fruit. Let's try this. Let's try this mystery fried meat. Hmm. There's the slightest kick to it. This one might be one of my favorite meals, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this meal, watch some more Euphoria. Hey guys, um, so today is 
the day before I'm done with quarantine. I actually have um, my PCR test to take and possibly 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna take a rinse off real quick with a quick shower and get ready and stay warm because last time I was freezing. I'm getting ready for my PCR test and my cousin told me it's gonna be extremely cold. So this is my outfit. Day six breakfast. We have this. Looks like it seems like granola and like maybe dry fruit, squeeze yogurt thing, lemonade. These seems like nuts and like dried fruit. This is a cracker, a half loaf of bread, and some soy milk. This is our nicer breakfast. Not gonna lie. Not that hungry and not much of a breakfast person, so I'm not gonna try like everything here. I'm gonna try this though and see what it is. It's oatmeal. <laughs> I opened it and I see just like oats and I'm like, huh? I will leave this on the side for now and I'll try this instead. Almond. There isn't like that much inside. That's good. I came back from my PCR. This is my second PCR test during quarantine. You take one in the beginning and you take one at the end. It went by really fast. This time, I'm not even kidding you. Again, when we went, we were like 200 people behind and we we're like, oh, we're gonna be here for like an hour or more. But our taxi driver, legit, pulled out a bunch of tickets <laughs> and he had it ready for us. He was like, hey, take this. And we we're like, whoa so then we were able to go in right away and it literally took like 10 minutes and we were out and honestly thank you taxi driver he hustled us in he was like nope these are foreign students their numbers are already ahead we're getting them in line food is here today i have kukumpa this beef dish um, some kind of nugget or fried like meat um, Some vegetables, kedanmari, egg omelet, and a little mini salad we have our soup and they gave us a little snack too Big pie, dressing, and ketchup Let's dig in A little bit underwhelming compared to the other meals I've had So not my like favorite but definitely like in between No idea what this is it kind of reminds me of like a meatloaf how would I rate this meal compared to the other meals? If there was a middle, it's below average. So we have this kind of like granola thing with not some like dried cranberries, milk, apple, fat loaves of bread. There's like six loaves here. I still didn't even finish my loaves from the last time they gave me that. They have this little Korean like sausage thing, mini Oreos, strawberry, two green teas, chocolate covered sunflower seeds, Americano. I'm saving all my instant coffees for later for like my dormant stuff. Mm -hmm. 